Uh, H and G viewer pick builds take one. Hi guys and welcome back to another H and G video. No, I know it's been a while since I've done one, and well, I'm sorry for the background noise, but you know it is what it is. Um, basically, what we are looking at here is the duelists build, and um, let me start by saying this build was uh, something that you guys over on uh, my Twitch chat. That's uh, twitch.tv slash deceptive gobras. Links will be in the video description down below. Uh, decided that uh, you would like to see. Now, the duelist build is a simple build, which is two pistols. Actually, the, 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 the duelist build is three pistols, but as you can see, <clears throat> excuse me, I have the P38. I just don't have it, uh, the credits to buy it yet. I'm uh, about 140,000 shy. Yes, that's quite a lot of credits, but don't worry. Um, this build actually does make you a wee bit of money. Um, of course, doing that build, you just take the grenades out. Now, the grenades are optional, so is the uh, melee weapon. Uh, I've decided to keep them simply because they are just absolutely fun to play. Now, I've noticed that there is a slight problem with the build in question, which is you tend to run out of ammo real quick. So I'm bumping the rounds up in both guns, as you can see here in the video like so now i'm not going to commentate during the video so pretty much you're just going to see raw gameplay of how it works and then after the gameplay i will explain the uh, do's the don'ts the ups the downs um so yeah as i said the grenades are optional so is the melee weapon but what is not optional is the pistols now as you can see i do have the uh, c96 mauser and uh, on this pistol, I have with the uh, I've got field adjusted triggers and the lightning pistol bolt, which knocks up my rate of fire to 400 rounds per minute. And of course, on the PO8 Parabellum, all we've got is the field adjusted trigger. I do have the uh, lightning pistol spring unlocked, but I don't have it equipped. But it already has 480 rounds. You do not really need to bump it over. Um, so, uh, sorry, with, with the light pistol spring, it goes up to 480. Uh, as she sits right now, she's at 378, which is on the slow side. But, uh, like I said, I'm going to grab that spring, throw it in, and uh, we'll go from there to see how it is. Of course, you've got your ubiquitous camos. Yes, I do plan on getting the uh, Kruitz camo for the uh, P8, just because, well, it's the Red Baron skin. Why not? And, of course... On the uh, car, uh, the, the C C96, there is uh, no skins. So that's pretty much the build. Badges. Uh, I've gone with the ubiquitous fast reload and heavy set. Heavy set because of those annoying uh, one-shot uh, bolt actions that you will see even on um, small maps. Um, like the small encounter map. And the ubiquitous two-shot kill semi-automatics. This knocks it down to a three-shot kill. Uh, you could, of course, uh, swap it up for Nimble or uh, Marathon. So you can, I mean, you're already light enough as it is. Uh, for example, if we drop the grenades and we drop the bayonet. Uh, actually, the bayonet doesn't really have any weight, so we can keep the bayonet. But if you drop the grenades, look at your stamina. You are through the roof. Uh, so, yeah, you could, um, by all rights, swap it out for either Nimble or Marathon Man. If you're looking for the extra stamina or you really want to stab people um of course uh i'm i've decided to go with the fast reload to get the, the rounds and the pistol stat wee bit quicker <coughs> in the middle of the firefight could of course go with the ubiquitous qu uh, uh, point of quick fire to uh, help with the uh, hip fire accuracy but then again it's a pistol you're not really going to be doing that sort of thing so for this video uh, i'm actually going to replace the heavy set with the quick uh uh, point at quick fire here and so uh, you'll see uh, little icons uh, uh, up here in the video that'll explain what badges I am using in this video you're going to see me use the point of quick fire so uh, we're going to hit combat and as you can see I've only got the encounter map selected the reason being is this build is perfect for encounter there's lots of areas where you can run around like a madman and um, do the ubiquitous uh, flanks and Aim for the uh, chest, head, and neck. Of course, you ultimately just want to get headshots to save on your ammunition and stop people uh, returning fire 
but uh, you know guys it is what it is and of course we are using my infamous Jon Schmidt uh, if you don't know who that is Jon Schmidt is the Red Skull from Marvel Comics that's his uh, actual name before he was known as the Red Skull so uh, yeah uh, I hope you enjoy the video my friends and uh, I will see you uh, after the battle
Okay, guys, as you can see, that was a bit of a fun game. And of course, as you can see, 4,800, uh, I gained almost five grand that game. See, that's pure profit right there. That's what I gained. My vet bonus covered the cost of the repairs. And we walked away right there, 25 and seven with pistols. See? 1771 see i walked away with over damn near five grand profit now as you can see the quick point of fire really didn't help um but i just wanted to show you that real quick using the quick point of fire so what we're going to do now is we are going to replace the quick point of fire with say oh i don't know nimble Actually, no, we'll, we'll, we'll pre replace it with the ubiquitous heavy set. All right. So, as you can, as you will know, guys, uh, during the video sequence, you will see what badges I am using in the top uh, right corner. Okay. So, uh, sit back and enjoy the show.
Okay guys, and as you can see there, I walked away with 2,847 credits and 711 uh, bonus credits uh, there. And my kill tally was 12 and 3. So that should kind of tell you something. The fact that I was just dominating this match. Yes, it was a smaller match. There wasn't that many soldiers for me to kill. But in the long run, you, as you can see right there, I just got the barrel unlocked and I just got another spring unlocked. Yay. And of course, that was using the heavy set and fast reload. So, guys, if you are feeling up to a challenge, of course, you could do this with the uh, Americans and the Soviets because they have two pistols, for example. Um, the Americans, uh, uh, well, the Soviets here, real quick, um, they have the uh, Tokarev and the Nagant pistol. Um, for the Americans, of course, they have the ubiquitous 1911. Right here, Fist of Freedom, and Who Throws a Shoe? Yes, I I could if I really wanted to be annoying as hell with my uh, with my recon, which I have done in the past. I could uh, <laughs> I I could go ahead and uh, uh, do that this sort of build to. Uh, 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 play. However, what I've tend to tend to see when it comes to um, uh, when it comes to uh, games like this is it will power level the crap out of your um, uh, your pistols as well as your um, uh, yeah yeah the, the ribbon for the close quarter things with the pistols to whatever I can't remember offhand but anyway um there you go guys I did buy the PO8 Parabellum today as in when I'm making this movie uh, this vi video I got the gun in the at the beginning of the live stream and I am now damn near up to my second star gold with it with the PO8 see I bought it it was bronze never used it before I'm damn near getting ready to turn this thing into a absolute monster of a pistol uh, of course you could do the ubiquitous heavy bolt instead uh, where is it uh, there it is the internal heavy pistol for the extra damage and then offset the slow rate of fire with uh, you know a, a different trigger sort of thing so you could in fact turn this turn that the gun into an actual nail driver uh, which is what a lot of people tend to do with the P, uh, P08 because it has only eight rounds like the 1911 uh, compared to the C96 that has 10. As you saw in uh, both clips, I did switch to uh, the C96 uh, when I had to. Where is it? It's a heavy pistol bolt right there. That's what I'll unlock next. Look at the damage right there. That's 25. That's 50. So in the middle would be... 40 damage per shot right there pop 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 granted it would lower the rate of fire which means i'm probably gonna have to bump up the trigger to the uh, hair trigger instead but it would be an absolute nail driver anyway guys that's what's known as the duelists build i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give the video a thumbs up i greatly appreciate it and uh well, um, if you want to leave a comment in the video sec in the comment section down below on the next uh, build idea, please go ahead and whoever gets the most thumbs up, uh, I will do for the <coughs> next video. Until then, my friends, keep your shells flying, keep your enemies dying, your Cobra Commander is out, and Jan Schmidt will see you in the next one, my friends.